Hey guys, Mitch Chesney or Mitch Team here, yeah, and again for no review. And today we are taking a look at the top five older, uh, oldest consoles ever made. So yeah, these are older consoles that are like released in 1977 or something like that. Um, so yeah. So yeah. Anyways, let's start at number five. At number five, we have the PS One. The PS One. Um, it's kind of old a little bit. He, it has a power button, an open button, and a reset button with two memory card slots, um, two um, controller ports, and um, <coughs> and a DVD reader, which is a very big DVD reader. Yeah, that's and basically that's the um, whole entire console. So yeah, that's basically what the um, PS PS One is. So now let's move on to number four. So number four is is gonna be um, NES, the internet, NES. So the NES has like this is this is a retro console. Like this is really a retro console, and um, um, it's very retro, and it has um, the controller has four like um, has two buttons, um, which is the A and B button. I think I never never. I never ever own a um a um NES, so I don't know how it feels like or play like. So yeah, it has a D-pad, the Nintendo logo, which is a, and red text, and yeah, and it reads cartridges like just like the Nintendo 64. So yeah, that's basically what it is. And it also has this um, opener for the um, cartridge, the power button. If if you turn it on. It shows the um, it shows a red light, and also the um, also it shows, and also has a reset button where you can reset, reset the console for another game. But yeah, so let's go to number three, I think. So for number three is the um, it's basically. Yeah, it's basically the um, Sega Dreamcast. So the Sega Dreamcast, I never own a Sega Dreamcast, by the way. Shizzle Network has one. I'll leave his link, his channel link, down in the description below, so you can watch him. He does say, um, he does say bad words or cur cuss words, but I don't really care about it. Yeah, he's a good guy. He he just cusses a lot in his channel, but I don't care about it. So yeah, I should go, I should just um go to go watch him. So the Sega Dreamcast has um, a DVD player just like the PS1, which is very big. It has the um, Sega Dreamcast logo, but without the Sega logo. Um, it has the um, power, um, power open and reset buttons just like the PS1. And it does not have uh, memory cards. And also, this console actually um, has... Um, it actually has um, some internet built into it, which is Ethernet. So yeah, you can play. You you yeah used to you used to play um, internet on there. I think they um sh sh like almost stopped using internet on the um, Dreamcast. I think so. I don't know. Yeah, I don't remember. I was watching a video about the Dreamcast online, and yeah, I think that's. I think it's discontinued by now. I don't remember. But yeah. That's basically what the Dreamcast is, and also it has a, a controller where you can put uh, memory cards on it. And um, yeah, yeah, this yeah yeah this is the time where um, the um, controller has um, like a, a controller that uses memory cards, or not really memory cards, like a memory game, because you can play games on it on the um, the, th um, the thing, or for to save the games. So. Yeah, it has like it has like the Y, X, A, and B buttons, just like the Xbox, just like the Xbox One does, and Xbox 360, and X, and original Xbox does have um, the um, X, Y, and B, A. So yeah, that's basically what the Dreamcast is. Um, yeah, so let's move on to number two. So number two is let me, let me guess. The Atari. Now the Atari is basically um, it's basically very old. 
My mom used to play it when she was a little, very little. I never used to have it and never owned an Atari. Like, for so many years when I was very little, I never ever owned an Atari. So, yeah, um, I never owned an Atari, just like I said. And my mom was used to play it when she was very little. And, um, yeah, it was, it looks like it's fun. I really want it. I wish I can, I really wish I have it or want it. I do really do want it, but it's a very old a very old console in sense. So yeah, um, it has it's like yeah you play it's you can play um, Atari games on it basically, and um, the controller is just an analog a very big analog stick with a button on it. That's just what the controller is, or it looks like. Never owned an Atari before, so I don't know what what it feels like or touches like. Probably the um, analog stick kind of touches like um, rubber. But anyways, um, let's start with the very last thing. So number one is the Game and Watch by Nintendo. So the Game and Watch is basically a very old, a very old um, game handheld console made by Nintendo. And um, yeah, if you don't know what the Game and Watch is, you can search it up on the um, you can search it up on um you can search it up on google or bing if you want so basically the game game and watch um is basically um it's basically a handheld system and um it has like a few buttons like the a and y i think x and um x and a i think so yeah um it has a very um screen and you can play um games on it but this screen has black and white. It's black and white. It has a black and white screen, just like the um the very first Game Boy that ever released. So yeah, that's basically what the Game and Watch is. Um, so basically that's what it is. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, smash the like button, subscribe, and comment. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Out. We. I'm doing this because the um very the video is very long. <laughs> hey guys, uh, Mitch Team here back. Um, so sorry if I um I shouldn't like warned you about the code. So here's the code up screen. I'm I'm sorry. I didn't know, I accidentally forgot, so yeah.